We came in cars, campers, on planes, to see a place that Walt built. Walt, well, come to this happy place. Welcome. Disneyland is your land. It was a place that was always growing, but never grew old. Where you didn't have to be a kid to feel like one. And this year, Disneyland will share a milestone with the world that's been 60 years in the making. The Disneyland Diamond Celebration. Disneyland was a place that I always wanted to be because it's always felt like home to me. I took my kids here when they were little and now all these years later, I got the grandkids and you can do it all over again. The memories of being here together, that's something special that our kids will always have. The first time we came to this we loved it so much, the next year we came back. And the year after that, and the year after that. Join us as we celebrate our story past and look towards our dazzling future. The Disneyland Diamond Celebration. Get ready to be dazzled. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the chairman of Walt Disney Parks and Resorts, Tom Staggs. Thank you, everyone, and welcome. It's really great to have you here this evening. It's amazing to contemplate that almost 60 years ago, right over there, on that very spot behind the screen by the flagpole, Walt Disney opened Disneyland. And in doing so, he said that he hoped it would be a source of joy and inspiration for all the world. He envisioned it as a place where friends and families would create experiences they'd remember forever. Nearly three billion guest visits and countless happy memories later, it's amazing to contemplate all that what started as Disneyland has come to mean to so many people around the world. Disneyland marked the beginning of something bigger than I think maybe even Walt could have imagined. It inspired five iconic resort destinations around the globe. The Disney Cruise Line, which takes our guests on more than 30 itineraries, Adventures by Disney, our guided tour business, where we host 40 different itineraries in 28 countries around the world. And Alani, our wonderful award-winning family resort in Hawaii. And now, of course, we're building a new theme park uh, in Shanghai at this very moment, and we're really excited to introduce that to our guests as well. But this year, we're going to celebrate the place where all of that began, Disneyland. That's what it's called. As we've said, we create, we exist to create experiences that people cherish, making memories that last a lifetime. And for that reason, this is just as much a celebration of you and all of our guests who've been with us along the way. And on behalf of Disneyland Resort's 27,000 cast members, and the hundreds of thousands who've worked here over the past six decades, we want to thank you for letting us be a part of your lives. <laughs> Disneyland Resort's Diamond Celebration will touch every part of the resort, and we will kick it all off officially on May 22nd. But tonight, we're thrilled to give you just a peek at what we have planned. Disneyland was conceived as a place that encourages all of us to be forever young, in part by being forever young itself. So this is a celebration of not just the past 60 years, but all that is yet to come as well. So to tell you a little bit more about it, I thought it would be fun to have someone who's been intimately involved with the creation of nearly every aspect of this celebration, and someone who, by the way, also has one of the coolest jobs and job titles at our company. Please join me in welcoming our lead creative executive for Parades and Spectaculars, Steve Davidson. Welcome, Steve. All right, so, uh, Steve, we obviously can't cover everything that we're going to do. And, we, of course, we want to leave a few surprises. But I'd love to talk about a few of the 
key elements that we're going to have. So let's start with one that I know is extremely near and dear to your heart, World of Color. By the way, as some of you may know, Steve was our creative lead for the original World of Color show, which became an instant hit with our guests. So thank you for that. Uh, but maybe you can give uh, our guests a little sense of what we've got in store with World of Color. Well, Tom, one thing I truly love about World of Color, it's really an incredible medium to play in. It's a canvas of, you know, mist and fountains and lights and lasers and fire. And we can change it to really focus on new and engaging stories or to even celebrate anniversaries. And that's what we're going to do for the 60th anniversary. Our new show, World of Color Celebrate, is going to celebrate the imagination that Disneyland brings to us every day. We're going to salute the wonderful world of Walt Disney. Walt truly was an amazing man who made dream after dream come true. And one of his biggest dreams of all, well, you're right in the middle of it, Disneyland itself. So through all those projections and lights and special effects and a lot of brand new animation, we're going to bring Walt's dreams to life and we're going to use it as an opportunity to show you some things out of the world of color that you've never seen before. So, we're going to spin it in a brand new way and bring Wall Street to life. That's fantastic. By the way, so, you know, we have these meetings and we're talking about what we're going to do for something as fun as the anniversary. And Steve comes in and gives us the pitch and he does this and this and he does that. And you can see we all get really excited and it's, it's impossible to say no to Steve, actually. <laughs> so, um, World of Color is going to be this great anchor celebration over at Cal uh, the celebration of California Adventure. Um, but as I mentioned, it's going to touch every aspect of the resort. In fact, um, Carthay Circle will get a special transformation um, for the celebration. And the same goes for what is arguably our biggest icon, Sleeping Beauty Castle, right here in Disneyland Park. In fact, if you take a little look behind you, you, you um, you'll see it's a little bit covered up. And you can't tell right now, but there's 30 or 40 Imagineers working away right now getting the castle ready for all our guests. At least I hope they're up there. How's it, how's it going back there, guys? The Tom is going really great. We can't wait for our guests to see all the magic that's happening right here behind the canvas. Oh, hey, I think we need some more diamonds. <laughs> that's, I, don't, I, I don't think they saw your lips move at all. That's great. Okay, so it's our diamond anniversary. We're here at Disneyland. We're going to need a parade. Well, it's a celebration, and of course we're going to have a parade. Now, how many of you remember the Main Street Electrical Parade? What's wonderful is it actually premiered here on this street over 40 years ago. And it became the inspiration for the new parade. We actually wanted to capture that spirit and bring back that tradition in a creative new way with all the enhancements in technology available to us today. We want this parade to literally paint the night, and that's the name of the 60th anniversary parade. We know our guests love to come here and visit and revisit the stories that they love and all the characters, and this parade truly will celebrate them all. I mean, Tom, it's absolutely going to be spectacular. That is part of your title, so we're hoping that will be. <laughs> What's really cool about the parade is where it has all new LED technology, all the floats change color, they interact with the environments around it, they even interact with the guests. And it's not just the floats in, these new, in this new parade that actually will light up, the costumes do too. The costumes are absolutely beautiful. And I think this parade will truly put parades in a brand new light. So we've got really a fantastic new parade. We've got a, a new show at World of Color that will be unlike anything we've done over there before. Castle is going to be spectacular, but it's our 60th anniversary. Feels like something else is in order. Fireworks? Fireworks. <laughs> well, I can help with that. <laughs> Fireworks have always been part of our heritage, but we've challenged the team to create something unlike anything we've ever done before. We want something that is bigger, more immersive, and just more spectacular to use the term again. Well, you know, we have done many fireworks here over the years, but for the 60th, we're going to do one of the biggest shows we've ever done, Disneyland Forever. And it's going to play out on our biggest stage. Now, normally we say that's the sky, but for this show, it's going to be the entire park itself. We're going to remind guests just how magical this Magic Kingdom can be. 
We're adding brand new effects to the show that will really make it immersive for the audience. We're adding projections to the castle. We're adding projections down Main Street. We're adding projections to the Matterhorn and other places here in the park. Now, to those projections, we're going to add pyrotechnics, which means we're going to be able... Well, I have a living firework as they say. So we're going to put pyrotechnics to those beautiful images that you're going to see, and we're going to put guests into the wonderful worlds that they know and love through Disney stories. So truly, just imagine, you're in the world of I See the Light from Tangle, and suddenly around you these beautiful lanterns start to flow and go past you. Or you're in the Jungle Book, and suddenly vines start to grow and flowers start to bloom. I mean, it's really going to be really cool. So it is going to be amazing. Um, and uh, I know you've been playing with it. We're, we we're, just, we're just creating the show. This is totally not fair to Steve, but I asked if, um, even though he isn't just in the middle of creating this, whether we could give you just a little taste of some of this immersive element that we're going to see on Main Street. So, Steve, you got something to show us? I certainly do. All right. Thank you for being here. Can't wait to see you at the celebration.